The greatest value in life is not what you get. The greatest value in life is what you become. And that is the thought for today. Welcome to 7 Good Minutes. I'm Clyde Lee Dennis. Thanks for joining me for what I believe will be seven of the most enriching minutes of your day. Today, we hear from one of the most influential speakers of all time, having spent over 40 years honing his craft and helping people. He is Jim Rohn. Let's listen in as he talks about the importance of consciously deciding to be the type of person we want to become. Here's Jim. The greatest value in life is not what you get. The greatest value in life is what you become. The major question to ask on the job is not, what am I getting here? The major question to ask is, what am I becoming here? It's not what you get that makes you valuable. It's what you become that makes you valuable. Set the kind of goals that will make something of you to achieve them. So there you have the two components of positive self-direction. Number one, self-knowledge. Knowing who you are and what you want to do with your life. And number two, self-preparation. Getting ready for the opportunities before they come your way. You need both aspects for positive self-direction. Figuring out who you are and what you want. And being prepared for the day you reach your goals. Being ready being worthy, becoming the person you need to be in pursuit of what you want. What good is an opportunity if you're not prepared to take advantage of it? It's no good. Won't do a thing for you. Be prepared. Now here's what's called the self-knowledge acid test. Quickly, without thinking too much about it, quickly list your three most important long-term work-related goals. Is it a client you've been trying to sign for several months? Is it a major sale you've been trying to make? Is it a promotion? Is it a partnership in the firm? Quickly list your three most important long-term work-related goals. Achievements that you want to make. Achievements that will take a while to get. Write them down. Again, without thinking too much about it, quickly list your three most important personal and spiritual goals. Things that will make a difference in your personal life. Is it going to church more often than holidays? Grasping all you can from the Sunday sermon? Is it spending more quality time with your kids? Is it turning the TV off during the dinner hour and actually talking about the important things in life with your family? Is it making more dates with your spouse? Is it planning a much-needed family vacation? What is it? What are the important goals in your personal and spiritual life? Is one of them making a conscious effort to exercise more, to eat better, to lose some weight, to get in shape? What are the three most important personal and spiritual goals that you have? Write them down. Doesn't matter what they are, just write them down. Now, take some time to really visualize what the achievement of these goals would look like. What does your future hold for you if you landed that big client? What does your future look like if you got that promotion? If you spent more time with your family? If you planned more outings with your spouse? What does your future look like? Really spend some time on this now. It's important stuff. What does it all look like? Ask yourself, is this really my goal? Is this truly what I want? Is it a positive goal? Is it important enough to me to become what it takes to reach this goal? Is it mine? Is it worth it? If your three goals on the career side and three goals on the personal side don't stand up to these questions, you need to take some time to carefully redefine a few things. Redefine your list. Redefine where it is that these goals came from. Redefine what actually is important to you. Redefine how hard you'll really work to get them. Now, there are two parts to this goal-setting and redefining process. 
there's two parts. Number one, don't set your goals too low. An interesting thing that we teach in leadership, don't join an easy crowd. You won't grow. Go where the expectations are high. Go where the demands are high. Go where the pressure is on to perform, to grow, to change, to develop, to read, to study, to develop skills. Now here's the second part on setting goals. Number one is don't set your goals too low. Number two is don't compromise. Don't sell out. There were some things I went for back in those early years that I paid too big a price for. If I'd known back then how much it was going to cost me, I never would have gone for them. But I didn't know. Don't sell out. That does it for today's episode of 7 Good Minutes. Please take a moment to rate and review the show on Apple Podcasts. If you have questions, you can ask those by going to 7goodminutes.com slash askclyde or get me on Twitter at Clyde Lee Dennis. Until next time, let's be civil to one another out there. Thanks for listening.